hi there. Welcome back to part two of my turning scrap paper into collage paper series. What you're seeing right now is me using stencils, creating stencils out of regular paper. And I'm just trying to do some different shapes, get some positive space, some negative space, rounded shapes, straight shapes, whatever shapes you want to make. And this is going to allow me to make some different shapes on the collage paper using a jelly plate. I'm using an X-Acto knife. If you do that, please use it on at least a few, like an old magazine so that you have lots of paper to cut into, or I have a self-healing mat there. So you don't cut through into your table or anything else that's important to you. And if you have a knife that you haven't sh sharpened recently, or that's an old blade, I highly recommend buying some replacement blades and switch them out fairly often. You'll get much cleaner edges that way and it'll make for much better stencils. Now that that's done, getting my jelly plate out and you can see the papers above my jelly plate. Those are the papers I made in part one of this video series. So I'm laying out these shapes that I just made. Any way you want to do it is fine. I'm just laying them down in some sort of arrangement. And I'm slightly obsessed right now with tissue paper collage, so making some tissue paper prints also. careful pulling your stencils off or they will tear, especially when they're new. This is the ghost print. You can see how it's just a faint outline. So again, you can get two or three prints off each repetition on the jelly plate. Each print will still be unique, and the very last ones will be faint outlines, but sometimes those are the most fun and have the most character. So again, those are using the scrap paper that I painted in the last video and some tissue paper. If you wait too long to put the paper and the stencils down, the paint will dry on the jelly plate. So then you just need to put another layer of paint down and press hard and then it should all come up. That's when you get really interesting textures and patterns. See right there, nothing really came up onto that tissue paper. So I'm putting a layer of quinacridone gold over the whole thing.
In this case, I'm just I'm putting the paper down over the top of the stencils. And now when I take the stencils off, or the masks off, it really starts to get interesting. See, look at that. Part of the magic of the jelly plate is just all the history that you can get from layers and layers and layers as different colors pick up from previous layers. I have no ultimate plan for these shapes. I'm just arranging them quickly so that the paint doesn't dry and somewhat randomly just so I can get something going. Because with collage you're going to be cutting into the smaller pieces anyway. So where you put the pieces doesn't matter as much as just getting shapes down. This is, these are some of the pages that I ended up with. The gold over the green, I really, really was happy with this one. The rest of these are decent. They'll be perfect for cutting up. And there were many, many more that I couldn't take pictures of because it was very windy outside. Hope you enjoyed it, everybody. Let me know what you think. Bye-bye.